Hey everyone! Back on my channel. So, today we're gonna talk about the story of Miriam Weeks, this awesome girl who's a pride of the school. She got some great news, she got accepted into her dream university. But there's a little problem. The tuition fees at that university are super expensive, and there's no scholarship. Her dad, a military doctor, promised to work extra hard to cover Miriam's tuition fees. Miriam's family then had a small dinner to celebrate this happy news, and Miriam also invited her boyfriend. Whoa, plot twist. After the dinner, her boyfriend breaks up with her. His reason? LDR long-distance relationship, he said. The next day, Miriam was taken by her family to the campus to stay in the dormitory. At the same time, her father received a call of duty to Afghanistan. Miriam immediately panicked, afraid something might happen to her father and she couldn't continue her studies. But her father reassured Miriam, saying everything will be fine. Miriam got a roommate named Jolie, a super cool girl from New Orleans. Jolie immediately invited Miriam to a party. There, Jolie turned out to be really popular, knowing a lot of handsome guys. Miriam also met a guy named Jeff, it seems like Jeff is interested in Miriam. But, Miriam was feeling a bit shy, not used to socializing in that kind of environment. So after a few months, Miriam's mom called her out of the blue. The news was, her parents couldn't afford to pay for her tuition anymore. Oh no. Miriam was immediately thrown into a dilemma, unsure of what to do. Her mom suggested taking out a loan, but Miriam refused. This was because her family still had debts from her dad's medical school expenses. That night, desperate for money, Miriam decided to play around and signed up on a website called Kamochi, using the alias Bell Knox, so her friends wouldn't find out. Surprisingly, she received a call from a director who was interested. They wanted to shoot a video in New York, and the pay was $1,200 for a day. Wow. Miriam was tempted and agreed without much thought. She headed straight to the filming location. But, turns out this film company is shady. The director was really rude, immediately asking Miriam to sign a contract. Her co-star was a muscular bald guy who was a bit rough. This was Miriam's debut, so she was feeling a bit awkward. And then, out of the blue this bald muscular guy got aggressive. Miriam was so shocked. But, for the sake of her tuition fees, she decided to continue filming and eventually got paid. A few days later, Miriam gathered her courage to watch the video on that website. When she read the comments, there were tons of criticisms about that shady film company. Some even suggested that Miriam should contact someone named Don Engels, saying that if she wanted to enter the film industry, the special kind. Curious, Miriam immediately searched for Don Engels' contact and reached out to him. After a lengthy conversation, Don asked Miriam to send some photos. Eventually, Miriam agreed to collaborate with Don, using the alias Bell Knox, of course. During the semester break, Miriam received a call from her friend, Emmy. Emmy asked when Miriam would be coming home. However, Miriam explained that she wouldn't be returning home as she had secured a job for the holidays. She flew to Los Angeles to meet with Don. On her first day of work, Miriam was paired with the seasoned actress Dora, who turned out to be incredibly kind. Dora warmly welcomed Miriam, who was new to the industry. Initially feeling awkward with Don's guidance, Miriam gradually improved her acting skills. Thanks to Don, the name Bell Knox started gaining recognition. After the semester break, Miriam had a conversation with Dora, her acting partner. Dora advised Miriam to be honest with her family about her work, as it would eventually come to light. However, Miriam still hesitated to talk to her parents. A few days later, Miriam returned to the dormitory. Her tuition money was secure thanks to Bell Knox. Jolie immediately invited Miriam to a party. And here's where it gets interesting. Miriam deliberately dressed casually, not like during her adult film shoots. She didn't want anyone to suspect that she was Bell Knox. Due to her nondescript appearance, many girls at the party ignored Miriam. Some even spilled drinks on her clothes, but thankfully Jolie was so kind, unlike the other girls. Jolie introduced Miriam to a handsome guy, rumored to have, substantial assets. Unfortunately, the guy wasn't interested in plain-looking Miriam. Her friends even started mocking her. Christmas vacation is here. This time, Miriam decided to return to her hometown to avoid raising suspicions with her parents. Upon arriving home, her mother immediately inquired about the fully settled tuition fees. Given her parents' financial constraints, it was implausible for them to cover Miriam's educational expenses alone. Miriam resorted to fabricating a story, 
claiming she earned the money from selling, flying tobacco. Her mother reacted with alarm, fearing that Miriam would face expulsion from the university. Miriam assured her mother that she would refrain from engaging in the sale of flying tobacco again. She also mentioned that she couldn't celebrate New Year's with the family due to a charity event at the campus. In reality, it was just a guise. Two days before New Year's Eve, Miriam flew back to Los Angeles. Her schedule was packed with various roles and co-stars, old, young, tall, short, big, you name it. But, unlucky for her, this guy Jeff had watched all of Bell Knox's videos. He even had a collection of Miriam's videos saved on his computer. While out with friends, Jeff suddenly asked, You're the one behind the viral Bell Knox, right? Miriam was caught off guard and pleaded with Jeff not to reveal her secret to their friends. Despite promising Miriam, Jeff just couldn't keep his mouth shut. After the party, news of Miriam being an adult film actress spread like wildfire. Miriam was furious with Jeff, fearing that her life on campus would be ruined. Instead of apologizing, Jeff casually mentioned that he couldn't resist sharing such an exotic secret. Inadvertently he spilled the beans to his friends. The next day the campus forum was buzzing with activity. Links to Bell Knox's videos were everywhere, and everyone found out that Bell Knox was a fellow student. Jolie eventually found out as well. Miriam apologized to Jolie for lying about her job. Jolie understood the situation, knowing that Miriam had to work that way due to financial constraints. Jolie promised to help Miriam. After reading the comments on the forum, Jolie noticed a girl named Amanda offering to help Miriam fight for her rights. Jolie suggested that Miriam meet with Amanda, as she was an intern at the campus news department. They met and had a lengthy conversation. Amanda promised to write a fair and honest article about Miriam. Miriam's days on campus were filled with ridicule and mockery. Fortunately she still had Jolie by her side, always supporting her. Eventually, they both went to the Campus Women's Protection Agency and met with Sarah. Sarah turned out to be very open-minded and understanding. She reassured Miriam that the likelihood of her being expelled from the campus was very slim. So guys, after talking to Sarah, Miriam felt a bit calmer. Sarah advised Miriam to just be honest with her family, rather than hearing it from exaggerated student gossip. This advice even reached Los Angeles, where Dora also suggested that Miriam speak up that day, hoping her mom would understand. Miriam gathered her courage and called her mom, being honest about her job as an actress. Well, her mom still didn't get it. As days went by, Miriam's name as Belle Knox skyrocketed. She was invited to numerous national TV shows, even CNN. In every interview, Miriam emphasized the importance of women fighting for their rights. She mentioned that harassment and ridicule shouldn't deter women, as long as it doesn't harm others. Following that, Miriam bravely returned home. She was met with a lengthy lecture from her father, as the viral success had implications for the family. However, it seemed that gradually, her parents were starting to accept the situation. Miriam also confided in her friend Emmy. She was afraid Emmy would be upset, but luckily she wasn't. Emmy was just annoyed because Miriam didn't tell her earlier. During the Kamosi Industry Awards. And Miriam won the category of Most Promising Newcomer Actress. So here's the problem. Her colleagues, especially the women, were envious and resentful because they lost in the competition. Dora, Miriam Sr., even started to distance herself from Miriam. Despite Miriam's success, she continued to diligently study. Even though she was busy as an actress, she kept on learning. But still, she was often ostracized while Jolie was still in the campus dorm. She was thrilled to see Miriam return. Seeing Miriam's troubled expression, Jolie immediately understood that her friend was going through a tough time. She promised to always support whatever decisions Miriam made. Years have passed. Miriam has now become a truly inspirational figure in her community. She always leads the way in advocating for freedom of speech and other rights. Now, Miriam is no longer working in the Kamosi industry. She is now striving to enter the world of politics. Her goal is to protect the rights of women working in the Kamosi field, so there will be no more verbal abuse or ridicule from society. So there you have it, our movie for today. Thank you for watching.